don't deserve to be happy because as a widow you feel like okay i honestly felt like i didn't deserve to be happy i remember the first time i laughed i felt so guilty because i was like why are you laughing why you don't deserve to even laugh you don't deserve to even smile why are you because you've lost so much you know and i had to get to a point where i choose to be happy where i choose that i deserve happiness where i choose to live because i tell people this the pain doesn't go anywhere hi <laughs> shem let me tell you it's not going anywhere but look good time heals no that's not true i don't believe it because there are still days where i wake up and i'm like yo it hits you like it happened yesterday but you shouldn't let the pain stop you from living you shouldn't let the pain stop you from loving you shouldn't let the pain stop you from being happy you need to you embrace it that's what you do you embrace it and you as a person you become stronger and you are able to carry the burden better and 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 that's what happens it's not that you forget you can never forget an experience like that it's impossible but you 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 decide that i want to live my life i want to be happy i deserve love i deserve to be loved and i deserve to love because the most the hardest part about grief i think is the fact that you can't it's almost like there was love inside you and this love you were giving it to somebody now that person is taken away from you and this love just builds up in you in your heart and the pain of not being able to give it to someone is what grief is because you feel like it just builds up the love builds up it builds up it builds up and and the pain of carrying this love that you can't give to someone is what's painful and for me i'm a lover guys yo yo i love loving guys in yatanda mina yo guys woo sham no ma bangang heta the next time i love again i love like i've never been hurt before i love like yes about ngathi yo ngathi my heart has never been broken i love love and what i've learned is that loving makes me happy giving love makes me happy and i'm happy i'm happy <laughs> like i'm genuinely happy you know looking at my son he's my world like it's almost like god said I didn't forget you. Yes, you went through it, but I didn't forget you. Um and yeah, so when I look at my man now and my son, I I'm I'm really grateful, you know, I'm I'm grateful to God. Um and like I said, I love more because I know what it's like to not have or what it's like to lose and yeah anyway how did we get you we were talking about my music anyway yes i think and what time is it i'm going to go guys i need to go feed my family but i think they still play then let me know when they're hungry Um and they left together. 
had to me and him were fighting over um when they lived together i don't i don't i don't see who you are and I, <laughs> but that's funny <laughs> um my man i know that's off course for my man girl my man um from the love of god oh uh, i couldn't read all of that because my eyesight is bad but anyway thank you okay so is it good night something is that <laughs> give us your skin routine you're so beautiful oh thank you um i skin routine i um whoa. i go to dr p for my chemical peels every month so it's once a month and then they give me a cleanser a moisturizer and sunscreen but i use more than the moisturizer yeah so as long as i've got the cleanser and the and the sunscreen i'm good um oh my gosh i wish i could uh, that am I good please much love from namibia oh thank you thank you um since i adore you thank you i look up to you girl you helped me a lot when i was going through the most i'm glad i'm glad i did and that's the only reason why i think i live my truth and i share my story all the time because i know that there are a lot of people that are either going through the same things or something that is worse and i believe that as people you need to li you need to, we need to lift each other up you know um sharing your story might help somebody you know um so i always have that in mind that um there is someone that needs to hear it this there's a widow there, out there that's looking at sims and is like you know what for as long as sims can do it i can also do it um she is living her life and i also want I, I i can also be capable capable of of living mine um and you know honestly <laughs> i sometimes i don't do it intentionally i don't post intentionally and be like okay i'm posting this to inspire people i just find that when i live my life people draw inspiration from it you know when I go through when I went through my pain I posted because I felt like that was part of my healing I felt like okay today I'm just gonna post and I'm gonna say how I feel and I didn't realize that by doing that someone else was watching and someone else was drawing strength from that so um don't be afraid to live your life don't be afraid to live your truth we live in a society where a lot of people are fake a lot of people um, post the good in their lives and they never post what they're really going through and i feel like there's so much freedom in living your truth because then you don't care you don't care what people say you don't care who's gonna judge you you don't care um about anything you live your life and you're happy you know because at the end of the day people are gonna talk guys about <laughs> tubaya kuluma okay and people are going to say negative stuff, positive stuff, irrespective of what you're doing. Irrespective of what you're doing. Trust me. Example. Three months after Jimmy passed away, people were like, yo, she needs to get over it. My gosh. I remember. People were like, oh, she, oh, yes. There was a specific comment that I remember. Of somebody who said this was three months after Dumi passed away. Somebody said, Oh my gosh, she needs to get dick. That's what they said. She needs to move on. Well, honey, honey, listen. Guess what? Ah. I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> but anyway, my point is three years later she moves on too soon it's too soon la le la ni even if big twenty move on a week after do we passed away it was my decision 
Mm? Like, I remember when we had um, ladies' nights and some woman was Ruma Akuluma at him. She moved on five months after her her husband passed away and she was healing from it you know and i looked at her and i was like oh my gosh i yo where i was mentally emotionally five months after jimmy passed away